Well, this was going to be a video about my makeup brush collection, but now I guess it's a video about a monster attack. Look at her. She was just trying to chew on that box. But, um, hello everybody. Welcome to this video. Today I am going to be doing part two of my makeup collection series, showing off, oh no, <laughs> showing off, um, some of my more fancy and expensive things, which in this case are my Spectrum Collections brand makeup brushes. Coleslaw is here to assist us today. Okay. So, sorry, I just bumped into my bookshelf. This is a pan over of all of the brushes and their various accoutrements that I currently own. And I have a couple more things on the way. Theoretically, I should be getting the 16-piece eye set soon. Um, although that package may have gotten lost. We'll see. They said that they emailed the people about it. So hopefully it's on its way back again. Um, and I think I also have the Mirror Mystery Box and the Cosmos set on its way. But this is my current collection of Spectrum brushes. And yeah, so this is the full overview. This, this one isn't a brush. This is a baby. All right, and so I'm going to start with the basic uh, Millennial Pink set back here. And then I am going to go through the rest of the brushes. I'm starting with this set because it has pretty much most of the cuts of brushes we'll be seeing through the rest of the collections. And uh, so it'll just give the best overview. Looks like she's recreating the one Instagram post from when I first got this box. Is that where you're going to stay for the rest of the video, baby? Is that where you're going to stay? Oh, that's where she's going to stay. All right. So here are my containers for the 30-piece brush set. The Millennial 30-piece, Millennial Pink 30-piece brush set. Oh, what are you doing? All right. She's done being in the box and would like to try to destroy my things now. Cool. All right. So when actually, little story, when I first bought the Millennial Pink set, uh, this is the zip bag that came with it, but the zipper on it actually broke. And so now it doesn't, like, zip closed. It's just always open. Kind of hard to do one-handed. But if I tried to zip it closed, it wouldn't close. So I emailed Spectrum about it and was like, I don't know if this is possible, but could you send me just a replacement bag? And they did. And this is it. So I keep all my face brushes from the 30-piece set in the bag. And then because I use the eye brushes more often, because as I stated in my Get Ready With Me video the other day, or I might be uploading these on the same day. If not, the other day I uploaded a Get Ready With Me video, and in that one I mentioned how when I go to work I only do eye makeup and nothing else, so I keep my eye makeup brushes on the bed. These are currently all of the ones that are clean and haven't been used, and then these ones have been used, and they're a little dirty been trying to neatly arrange these brushes for a few minutes now but she just doesn't want it to happen so all right so these are the four main blending brushes that you get in the millennial 30 piece uh millennial pink 30 piece kit and of these brushes i would say that here these two are my favorite these are the b11 and the b07 they are rounded top fluffy blending brushes. B07 is good for just placing your general like main color all over and then this one is good for deepening the crease or doing like more fine blending I guess. And so those are my favorite. And then these two which are the B10 and the B06. Pretty much the same thing, larger and smaller version of each other. Uh, both very good blending brushes as well. I just prefer the rounded top ones uh, as a personal thing. These are the three brushes that are for concealer that come in that kit. Oh. Big yawn. Uh, so this one is the B03. It's just a dense flat top concealer brush. Um, I like this one for when you're just trying to conceal one specific 
spot and so you can just cosa will you let me demonstrate on you you just tap <laughs> no you don't need it you just tap like this to get the concealer on the spot don't worry the brush is clean no makeup got on her this is a flat concealer brush um it's not my favorite it's good for spreading concealer um and you can blend concealer out with it but it doesn't give me quite the finish I look for, so. And this one is the A18. And the A stands for application. Oh, she doesn't want you to see the other one. Okay. This one is my favorite for concealer. It's a, like, sort of mini paddle brush, fluffy paddle brush. And it is the A29. I guess Coleslaw likes it as well. <laughs> She's, oh, look at that little tail go. Oh, okay. All right, Koshla, are you going to help me with the rest of the video too? I think she's here to stay. You're very adorable, but you are making this very difficult. So here we have the rest of our, I'm going to call them dense slash fluffy brushes. Um, so this one is a large shader brush and I find it pretty good for packing on color. It can work for shimmers a lot of times. Uh, some formulas it won't, like the more slick feeling formulas it doesn't always work super well with, um, but it does work well with most shimmer formulas because it's nice and dense as you can see. And this one is the A07. It's also a very good little cat toy for if your cat wants to be entertained. Yeah? You want to play with them? You want to play with it? Yeah, she's trying to eat it. <laughs> All right. And next we have what I consider sort of its little sibling, and that is the A28. It is a bit of a smaller, less dense fluffy shader brush. I generally like this one for packing on matte colors uh, like if I'm doing a matte lid cut crease I find that this is pretty good for that next we have the a 13 um, and this one is a smudger brush so it's designed to put uh, eyeshadow on on your under eye so like right under there sorry baby girl um, and yeah, so that's generally what it's for, but I find that this one also works well with shimmers because it is so dense and tightly packed. This is a fluffy pencil brush, the A12. Uh, I like this one for applying shimmer to the inner corner. I find it works quite well with those slicker formulas that I mentioned. Um, it's nice and dense while still being fluffy enough that uh, you can slightly blend out with it. Um, as you guys may recall, I used this in my neutral with a pop of blue tutorial. Um, I used my Malachite set one, but this is the same cut of brush. And I used this one to apply the crease color, and then I just used the fluffier bl brush to blend it out more. So that is the A12. And next we have the A27. This is a precise pencil brush. Making a ruckus. Um, and... This one is also good for putting shimmer on the inner corner, especially if you want to be a little more precise and, like, small with how you're doing your shimmer. Hey! Hey! You going back in the box? Okay. The last of the eye brushes from the Millennial 30-piece set, Millennial Pink, I keep forgetting the word pink, um, so this one is a pretty basic general brow styler brush. It's got a spoolie on the end, and it's got an angled thin brush here for applying brow powders, pomades, and things like that. I generally only use the spoolie side to clean up mascara mistakes, um, but I have used this side before, but for eyeliner instead of doing my brows. I don't really do a lot to my brows. This is a angled eyeliner brush. It is quite nice and thin. Uh, I've used this before for doing that style where I just pop a color in my crease and then I take some kind of dense shimmer and I use that to create a little bit of faux eyeliner and this brush is very, very good for that. I don't know how it works with like 
gel eyeliners in the pots just because I don't own any of those. This is the Precision Crease Brush. Oh, I forgot to say the numbers. This one is the A24. This one is the A17. Then we have our Precision Crease, which is the A16. This one is uh, meant for um, applying concealer or eye primer to create a cut crease. Um, however, it also works pretty well for shimmers in, in my experience. Like when I first saw this, I thought, oh, that's a shimmer brush. So this is pretty good for either of those. It's very nice and flat and it's nice and dense. So very good for both things I've mentioned. One moment I need to see. I had the door closed, so she just wanted to go out of the room. All right, so this is the A15, and this is a little lip brush. However, I keep it with the eye brushes, because even though I haven't used it for an eye thing yet, I feel like this would be very good for, like, some, a little bit of detail work that maybe the angled liner brush is too big for. But this next one, you see that there, the fine liner A07 is too small for. So this one is a good in-between, so I keep it with the eye brushes because I think it would be good for that. Why is there little lint on it? Okay. And then this one, like I said, fine eyeliner brush. Probably works especially well with liquid eyeliners. I did use it the other day to try to make a um, wing with a white eyeliner that I have, um, and it worked pretty well. So yeah. And pretty easy to clean as well. So now we are on to the face brushes. And these are all of the um, foundation slash cream liquid product brushes. Um, so if you saw my outtakes video from the other day, um, you probably already know these, but I'm going to go ahead and reiterate them anyway for any new viewers. This is the B02. It is a domed foundation brush. I quite like this for putting on foundation. I think it's I don't know. It just gives me a finish that I enjoy a little more than the flat top, and it's also a little more enjoyable to use, in my personal opinion. Um, but they're both very good foundation brushes. Uh, they are both quite dense, so they will give you, if you enjoy full medium coverage, they are definitely going to give you that. I like to use these in a sort of stippling motion, sort of stipple on the foundation like that. All right. Um, I family is watching a crime show. Not true crime, fake crime out in the living room. So if you hear talking, they're talking about that. Um, this is the B01 flat top foundation brush. Pretty much the same as the domed one in terms of what kind of coverage it's going to give you and how I like to use it. Next, we have this one, which is the C07. Now, I believe this is actually meant for contouring, which you can tell by the sort of pinched almost. Um, effect of the brushes, bristles, um, but I actually think that this could work pretty well for foundation, especially because it's, it's almost like a mix of this and this, I would consider it, with this being, uh, obviously a flat paddle foundation brush. It's almost like a mixture of the two, so I think this could be really good for putting on foundation, especially because it's almost as dense as both of these brushes. Next, we have the paddle brush aforementioned. This one is just a basic foundation paddle brush, the A03. Uh, this one, generally what you do more with it is you swipe your foundation on like that and then sort of blend it in with the tip. This is the D04. The D in this case stands for duo fiber. And the duo fiber usually refers to a brush that is uh, natural and synthetic in one brush, natural hair and synthetic hair. However, all spectrum brushes are synthetic bristles, um, so none of them are derived from animals. Uh, that does mean they are plastic, unfortunately, but uh, they are very, very soft and they feel very nice. And uh, this one is actually just referring to duo fiber in this case means denser at the bottom and then lighter, less tight packed here at the top. And you can kind of see that. This one is good for a lighter, dewier sort of coverage, as well as for applying like cream and liquid blushes in a more light, less packed on kind of way. So it's very good for like the natural sort of look. 
And then this one is the B05. Uh, I believe that this one is intended for like cream contours and bronzers and hollows of the cheek. However, uh, I know that Katie Jane Hughes, whose brush sets are right here and right here, um, she prefers to use a smaller brush with her foundation so she has more control. So if you prefer that method as well, this brush will probably work pretty well for you for putting on foundation. Next, we have the powder brushes from the face brushes of the Millennial, 30 P Millennial Pink 30-piece set. So these are the last brushes from that set, and then we will get into all of the other brush sets. This one is the A01, and it's just a really big, fluffy powder brush for powdering all over your face. Uh, maybe like if you like using a really big brush with bronzer, I know a lot of people like using a really big brush brush with bronzer. This would be probably really good for that. Um, but yeah, it's just a nice big fluffy face brush. As you can see, it's not super dense, but not super sparse either. This is the C03. I believe it's also called the Tulip brush, I want to say. I think that's this one. Um, this one is another like good for all over face powder or for bronzer or a uh, blush. I actually quite like applying blush with this sometimes. I, I have started gearing more toward the angled blush brush, uh, but before I had an angled blush brush, this was one of my favorite types of brushes to apply blush with. Right, so next we have the aforementioned angled blush brush. Um, this one is meant to be used with the angle, so if you are sweeping it along the cheeks, then you are going to sweep with the angle like that, uh, because otherwise it'll get a little bit patchy if you try it otherwise. Um, I quite use this, I quite like using this one for blush, but I also used it for bronzer today, not this specific one, but one of this exact same cut. And it worked really well for bronzer for me. So this is a very good applying face products brush. This one is a bit more of a small pinpointed kind of powder brush. It is the A04. Oh yeah, this is the A05. So this is the A04. I can't remember exactly what they say it's meant for on the website. However, I would probably use this for concentrated blush, like if you want to concentrate your blush in a very specific area, maybe if you're going for like one of those sort of doll looks where the blush is very concentrated on the apples of the cheeks, I think this would work really well. It would also work really well for if you just prefer a slightly smaller brush for applying powder all over your face. And um, I think it could also work pretty well for powdering specific areas as well, like if you just want to powder around your eyes or you just want to powder your T-zone. Let's see, turns out Creamsicle had been hiding in here somewhere and he very suddenly wanted out. <laughs> um, so this next one is a sort of paddle fluffy brush. It's very similar to the concealer brush I said was my favorite in the beginning. However, this one actually is less dense. It's a bit more fluffy. Uh, again, this is probably good for applying powder in concentrated areas. I don't know if I would use this one for blush as much, but um, I do think it could work for that. Um, or like if you want to do a really dispersed amount of highlighter, this could probably be pretty good for that. Uh, or contour. I bet this would be very good for contour as well. Now we have our A30 brush. This is a more pinched, small, fluffy brush, quite small. Um, I would probably say that this is going to work best as a highlighter brush or a placing powder in very specific areas, like powdering your under eyes, powdering around your nose. Um, I have also used this brush for, if any of you watch Superstore, you know that one Halloween episode where Cheyenne has the really, really pretty unicorn makeup on? Um, let's see, which episode is that? It's the one where they're trying to disguise Mateo so that he can go to his cousin's wedding. Um, in that episode, she has this really pretty unicorn makeup on, and I actually used this brush to recreate that look on myself. I don't think I have a photo of it, but I might do it another day and post a photo of it, because I actually have some products now that I think I could do it a lot better with. And then last but not least, we have the B08. I believe this is their classic magic wand highlighter cut of brush, and this is mainly for highlighter, but can work for powdering specific areas, as with everything else. 
So that is the entire Millennial Pink 30 piece set. And now we will move on to the rest of the sets. They will take less time because I'll mostly be showing the designs of them and only pausing once or twice for specific brush cuts that uh, weren't included in them. All right, so now I'm going to begin the more um, collector's item collections with the first three sets that I ever bought from Spectrum. I know it looks like four sets, but these technically go together. Um, so these two are the Oceana sets. This is the eye set and this is the face set. This one comes with five brushes. This one comes with four. And then I also have both of the Little Mermaid collaborations. These are the dust bags for the bags inside. So I'm going to show you all of them. Here are the sets opened up. Up here we have the Oceana eye set that comes with a precision crease that I used recently, which is why there's green. It comes with a fluffy pencil, large shader, the rounded blending brush, and the flat top blending brush. And all of them have these tapered handles. I love tapered handles on blending brushes like this. And as you can see, they have a sort of iridescent quality to them, and these ones are plastic. So on all of these sets, the handles are plastic. However, on the 30-piece uh, set that I showed you, and with most of their other sets, the handles are wood. And they do say on the website that it is sustain sustainably sourced wood. I have no way to verify that, but I, I believe them. I just believe them. Um, and hopefully I'm not being a fool for that. <laughs> so, And then we have the four-piece face set, and these have the same tapered iridescent handles. And this one comes with an all-over sort of face brush, the C03, all-over powder. This is the flat top foundation brush, an angled cheek brush, and a magic wand highlighter brush, just like we saw before. And then both of the Little Mermaid sets have the same brushes in them. So the Ariel set has the exact same brushes as the Ursula set. Um, but the difference is in the handles. So these ones are blue that shift to a sort of bluey purple. Let me see if I can get that shift on camera. Yeah, there you go. See? So they've got a blue deep purple shift. And then these ones are more of a sort of a lighter grayer purple that shift to a sort of um, sea moss green color, I'd describe it as. Let me see if I can get it to shift on camera. It's a lot easier to capture shifts in real life than it is on camera. Let me try pulling one of these out here. Okay, well, I guess we're just not quite gonna get that shift on camera like I had originally hoped. Oh, wait, wait. There we go. See that? See that green? There we go. All right. All right. So the brushes that are included in both the Ariel and the Ursula brush sets are an all over face brush. I believe this is the A01. Um, we have another flat top foundation brush. Uh, so this is the very big fluffy brush, the A01. And then a flat top foundation brush, an angled cheek brush, a more precise sort of medium sized uh, fluffy powder brush, and one of the magic wand highlighter brushes. And then we have one of the large fluffy shaders, flat top blending brush, slightly smaller flat top br blending brush, medium fluffy shader, smudger fluffy pencil and precision crease and both sets have the same cuts of brushes and then these are the little pouches that they come in this one has ursula on it the brushes say let's see here unfortunate souls on them so that's what the brushes say and then you can see here also it says fabulously fierce and then you close it up and it's got a little magnetic clasp on it. Oh, aerial tail got in the way. There we go. Little magnetic clasp. And the outside, as you can see, it is faux leather. So faux leather is just a fancy word for plastic, by the way, in case anyone didn't know. Uh, but this is pleather, faux leather. It's a very nice texture. It's a leathery texture, but made of plastic. 
And then it also has these little pearls on it, and these pearls are stuck on there, so very good quality. And then the Ariel set is roughly the same, except these brushes say on them, part of your world. And on the cover itself, it says treasure seeker, and it closes up with the same kind of magnetic clasp. It's got the little pearls, and they both have this little Spectrum X Disney little thing on it. So to keep with the Disney theme, I think I will show off the Alice in Wonderland collection next. All right, we are now taking a look at the Alice in Wonderland set, uh, which I got for Christmas, plus my brush launderette towel. So this is a towel that Spectrum makes. It's got little uh, loops on it, as you can see here, and you once you're finished washing your brushes, you stick it in the loops, you hang the towel up by one of these little hooks, and you leave it overnight to dry. And it hangs them upside down so that you never have to worry about like water getting down in here and ruining the glue or causing mold. Uh, these ones are upright because these ones were not used, so uh, they didn't need to be washed, so there's no need to dry them. But so here we have the whole 10 piece set. It comes in this cute little tube and this little bow is supposed to go around this brush um but uh, i discovered what while like holding it and stuff that like that's a little inconvenient for using it so usually i keep it in this dust bag along with this cute little bag that comes in the collection so this is a little bag it's got a little clock on it on like a little chain. It's got the little Spectrum X Disney and it's got a bunny tail because it's like the white rabbit. Uh, and this is the dust bag that it comes inside of. So I usually keep this little bow in the dust bag with the little bunny sort of clutch. So this is one of the angled blush brushes that we've seen before. This is just one of the fluffy pencil brushes, but with this really fancy handle. This is like actual metal, I think, too. Like it's, that's heavy duty. That's, that's heavy duty. Um, down here, we've got one of the medium fluffy shaders, one of the flat top blending brushes. This is a deluxe fan brush, as you can see, so it's a very small fan fan brush. I used this for putting on highlighter today, and I quite enjoyed it. Um, the highlighter I had was a little... it was a very true gold gold, which is a little dark for my skin tone sometimes, but this applied just the right amount of it to make it not look, you know, like I smeared something way too dark on my face for my face. Uh, and then these are what I used for foundation and concealer. As you can see, they are sort of angled. See? Uh, but they're also very dense. So these are for foundation and concealer. All right. And then this is the tube that this little key brush comes in. It has its own whole tube. This is the Kabuki brush. So this is the little case it has. Also made of cardboard. And then the brush itself is metal. It's got the Cheshire Cat on it, and you can decide what density you want it to have like this. So that's the little Kabuki brush. And then we have the two um, beauty sponges, which are the uh, teardrop sponges, I believe. And I haven't used these yet. I don't really use beauty sponges very often, but these are adorable, and I love them. <laughs> Look at how cute they are! All right, so that is the whole Alice in Wonderland set, and now I will move on to the Hello Kitty. I totally forgot to name what the four dress brushes that weren't drying are, uh, and that is just the angled eyeliner brush, a lip brush, a fluffy pencil brush, and a large shader brush. Okay, so that's, that's the full collection. So now we are on to the Hello Kitty brunch collection. And this is what the outside packaging looks like. I love Hello Kitty. I've loved Hello Kitty ever since I was a kid. We used to have a Sanrio store in the mall, and I would go in there all the time. I was especially obsessed with the cherry gum. It was so good. Um, but yes, so this is the Hello Kitty brush collection. It's the first Hello Kitty makeup thing that I've seen that I've been, like, really, really excited for. Like, I, I loved this so much. Um, and I actually already showed this. If you'll remember, that was the 
so this is the cup that I had my clean eyeshadow brushes in at the beginning of the video for the 30 piece millennial pink set so um, this is just the box for it and I keep that on display so I'm going to show you what is inside all of these and then this is just the brunch menu it describes like what we've got with the collection and I just think that it's super adorable so I keep it <laughs> Here is what ins is inside of all of the Hello Kitty boxes. Um, this one is just uh, a sort of bag, so all that's inside of this is a little handle. But um, so here we have the three beauty blenders. We've got a small one, a larger one, and then one shaped like a strawberry, and it's really cute. Uh, this one is a lot denser than the other ones, a lot tougher. And then these two are a little more squishy. Again, I haven't used these. I just don't really use beauty sponges all that often, but they feel very, very nice. So I bet that they're very nice quality. This is the little Hello Kitty Sugar Cube Kabuki brush. It's got a little bow on it as well. Very fluffy. You can't determine like the density you want for this one, but it's super cute anyway. Very soft. This is the large brush set here. These are wooden handles. And as you can see, there's little Hello Kitty bows all over the ferrules. I think that's what they're called. And we have, um, let's see here. Yes, this one is one of the, uh, could use for foundation, but I think is meant for contour brushes. That's sort of pinched. We have one of the duo fiber brushes here, angled cheek brush, one of the paddle concealer brushes. We have one of the flat concealer brushes flat top blending brush, pence, fluffy pencil, another one of the deluxe fans, an angled eyeshadow brush, and then this one is a fine, or angled eyeliner brush, sorry, and then this one is a fine liner brush, such as before, but this one has a bend in it. No, it's not broken. It's supposed to be like that. I believe that angle is supposed to make it just a little easier to control when you're trying to work with liquid liner. Then we have the little four-piece set, and this one has another C07, but this one's a little bit shorter for some reason. Then we have another one that is could be used for foundation, but could also be just for like cream contour and stuff. And the two flat top blending brushes in the bigger and smaller size. And that is the Hello Kitty bundle. Yep, we have these travel brush kits. I got these for Christmas as well. Um, so these are in collaboration with someone named Michelle. I'm actually not sure who they collaborated with for this one, but they are little travel brush kits, as you can see here. Both have the exact same, um, items inside of them. It's just one of them is more red-orangey themed. It looks red on the phone, but it's, it's orange. And then we have a blue themed. So these come with an all-over face brush. This is a small B02, so this is um, for foundation. So this is one of the rounded foundation brushes. Then we have a little face powder brush right here. Let's see, what's this one? Okay, these ones are in a little container, so it's a little hard to see the numbers because these are very short handles. But we have an all-over face powder brush, angled blush brush, duo fiber brush, highlighter brush, and then uh, the kit says that this one is for concealer and uh, spot powdering, um, but this could also probably be used as an eyeshadow brush. There is no designated eye brushes in these travel sets, though, but this could definitely work as a blending brush. And it is a two-tiered bag. And in the bottom section, you have a lip sorbet balm with a coconut scent. Uh, they're both coconut scented. It has SPF 30 in it, I believe. SPF 15. Okay, yeah. So it's got SPF 15 in it, so it does taste a little bit like sunscreen, unfortunately. Um, let me see if I can get this box open one-handed. There we go. Okay in a little glass jar. Yeah. So there's the lip balm, and it comes in this really nice, cute little box. You also get a sharpener. This is a just basic sharpener. You can pop the top off, and a little powder puff. So I don't really travel anywhere. Um, 
not just with like COVID. I just like don't travel in general. But these are really adorable little sets and probably would be pretty handy for like even just like if I went, I don't know, a county away or something, it would probably be pretty nice to have because I don't want to take my like collector's edition Hello Kitty brushes or anything with me, you know, and I don't want to take my whole huge 30 piece set. So these are adorable little travel brush sets. So now we have the Christmas hamper, which I actually got for my birthday instead of the Christmas. <laughs> Uh, so this is all the contents inside of the Christmas hamper. I got the malachite one, and then this is the hamper itself. So right now it's just an empty box, but it's a very nice box, and I like it a lot. Uh, the thing I use most is actually the little eye mask here. I really enjoy the little eye mask. Then we've also got this nice bag. We have three of those face, wa face wash pads. I haven't used these yet because generally I use a cleansing balm. Um, but we have these three face wash pads here. Uh, this one came inside of the bag, so that's why this one is all wrapped. Then we have, of course, the sponges. Again, haven't used these, but they are very soft, very, feel very nice. This is a little box that they come in. We have, I'm sure you guys recognize these, I use these in like every video, the Spectrum Dark Matter Mascara, the Spectrum Glowful Mist, and the Spectrum Glowful Plum primer. Why do I keep saying spectrum? Of course it's spectrum. That's what this whole video is about. Next we have the comb. It's just a nice little comb. Rather wide teeth. Um, so probably would work best for someone who has like curlier hair than mine, but it's a very nice little comb. It's very pretty. We have the brush soap in the scent. Let's see, this is the pomegranate, right? It doesn't say on it, but I believe this is the pomegranate scent. It might say, yeah, there we go. The pomegranate scent. So it comes with the solid brush cleanser and the little mat. I haven't used this one yet because I'm still going through my other one that is in the grapefruit scent. I have, I have another one. It's the same thing. It's just a different scent and it's pink on the top instead of this green sort of pattern. So I'm still going through that one. I've made quite a dent in it, though, because I wash my brushes very regularly. Uh, we have a little scrunchie, which my hair is currently too short for me to use. But hey, if I ever go back to long hair, this will be adorable. And, of course, we have the star of the show, the Malachite set. So this includes one of the large all-over face powder brushes, a flat top uh, foundation brush, an angled cheek brush, a magic wand highlighter brush, a paddle concealer brush, the fluffy paddle one, my favorite one, a flatter topped blending brush, a large shader brush, a fluffy pencil, a precision crease, and the brow styler with the spoolie on the end. And that is the Malachite set. So that is everything that came in the Christmas hamper. So this next thing is the Katie Jane Hughes Artist Bundle set. It came in this box. You might recognize this as the one that Coleslaw stole earlier in the video. Um, it also comes with the 11-piece brush set, 5-piece eye set, 2-piece face set, a little card detailing all of the brushes, as well as a um, another one of those uh, solid brush soaps. This one is slightly different in texture. I cannot unscrew that, um, but it, it's slightly different in texture. It's not shiny like the other one. And this is the bag for the large um, the large brush towel. Uh, similar to the pink one I showed, but it is this dark green color and it is significantly bigger. And I will show that in a minute. Uh, this, of course, is a little face towel as well. And let's see here. So it comes with this little card, right, that explains everything to you. And just so I don't have to, uh, you know, because these are all different cuts from the ones that we've seen before. The Katie Jane Hughes sets feature their own unique cuts. So we've got a one, which is the biggest brush in the collection. It's a big face brush that is not included in this particular collection, um, but it is included in what I'm going to show next, which is the normal Katie Jane Hughes set, the original. 
So there's brush one, there's brush two, which is a flattish blush brush, brush three, which is a duo fiber, brush four, which is an angled duo fiber, brush five, angled blush, uh, a bit smaller than the ones that I've shown off before, a bit, a bit more petite. We've got the brush number six, that is a paddle foundation brush, like I showed before. That is actually this one here. As you can see, it's a lot smaller than the other one that I showed. I have used this before. Not bad. I just don't like paddle foundation brushes super much, but you don't know that until you try it, so. We have brush number seven, which is like a smudgy kind of brush. You can use it for a lot of smudging or placing down color. Brush number eight, which is, there's two of them in the set, so the original is a, so there's not two of them in this set, but there's two of them in this original set, and the original set is 25 pieces overall, so that's 24 fully unique brush cuts that, that you can't find in any other Spectrum collections collection, um, and then there are 25 brushes total because there are two of the number eights. This is the one that Katie likes to use for her foundation, I've noticed, and for her concealer. Um, I would probably generally use this for powder and highlighter and stuff, but the whole point of the Katie Jane Hughes line is um, based off of artist brushes, use them for whatever you want, no limits on brushes, um, which is true for all makeup brushes, you can use them for whatever. Uh, but they are inspired by, like, painting brushes, specifically. We've got brush number nine, which is this thick guy right here, uh, which is a very, very wide eyeliner brush, uh, and can also be used to, like, just make a really straight line on your, um, eyeshadow if you want to use concealer to clean it up instead of, like, a setting spray. So that's pretty good, probably, if you do your base first and then your eyes. We have brush 10, which is a very large eye blending brush. Uh, we have brush 11, which is just a somewhat flatter but fluffy eyeshadow blending brush. I believe that is that one here. Let's see here. What else do we have? We have the brush number 12. That one is another smudger. We have brush 13, which is a uh, fluffy pencil. We have brush 14. It's like pointy and flat. I haven't done anything with that yet, really. I think I applied cons uh, shimmer with it once, but I, I haven't really figured out what I want to use that for quite yet. We have brush number 15. That's sort of like the flat brush that we talked about earlier, the uh, crease brush, the, um, but it's a little bit fluffier than that. Not fluffy, it's, it's just not quite as tight, I guess. Uh, brush 16, which is this long brush with, with a flat tip, uh, which is uh, sort of like a lip brush, honestly, but with a flat tip. Brush 17, a delicate petite blender. I absolutely love petite little blenders like this, so this one is awesome. Brush 15, another pencil brush, but it is a little bit smaller than the first one. Brush 19 is another petite blending brush. Again, it's just a slightly different size, if I remember correctly. Brush number 20, which is just a flat concealer brush or for eyeshadow or something. Number 21, which is a really teeny, tiny little uh, pencil brush. I think, I think that's it right there. Look at how tiny it is. Here's my finger in comparison. Look at how cute. Uh, this says it's good for a cut, making a cut crease, um, but I really like it for, like, inner corner and stuff. Oh, one second. That My cat was mad that the door was closed. Creamsicle was mad that the door was closed, um, but it's okay. Uh, he's totally fine. He was just like, why is this closed? Uh, and then there is brush number 22, which is a little eyeliner brush. Brush number 23, which is a super, super, look, it's right here. Look at how tiny that is. Tiny little eyebrow brush with a spoolie on the end. And brush number 24, which is a super long eyeliner brush. So very good for if you're into like graphic liquid liner stuff. So that is for the entire brush collection. That is all of the brushes that are inside of this. And then the 11-piece set has the 
number two, let's see. The 11 piece set here has the number two, the number four, number, let's see, number eight, number nine, number 11, number 15, number 17, number 18, number 28, number, not 28, sorry, number 20, number 22, and number 23. There's not 28 brushes. But these are the ones that the 11 piece set has. And then the five piece eye set, we have got the 12, 14, 19, 21, and 24. As you can tell, I have used these. Uh, I've washed this one multiple times, but that red just will not come out. <laughs> and the two piece face set, plus, of course, the commemor commemorative box it all comes in. Next, I'm going to show this. I won't go over all the brushes again, but I'm just going to show this. And then I'm going to go ahead and show just one, two more things, and then right. So now we are on to the main original Katie Jane Hughes X Spectrum collaboration. And so this is the case it comes in with a bunch of promo pictures on it, which are really pretty. I actually kind of want to recreate, let's see, where is it? Where is it? This one. I want to recreate this one. I feel like um, I have a shade in my Ice Cream Dream palette that matches that one perfectly. So I want to recreate them, that one at some point. Um, this is the tube that the actual brushes live in, plus another one of those face cloths. I, uh, this one is a little bit bigger. It's a pleather tube. It clasps on the side, as you can see. It's got a little Spectrum logo in it, and it's got this imprinted on the front. Then we have another little brush guide that comes with it. This one is a fold-out pamphlet, as well as this little note card with a nice little note from Katie Jane Hughes. And then here are the 25 brushes. Now, as you can see, I keep them in their plastic sleeve, and part of that is because I this is the most expensive brush set that I own, and I want to be very careful with it. But another part of that is, as you can see, I've labeled their little sleeves with each of their numbers. Yes, that did take forever to do. Um, but I've labeled each sleeve with their numbers, so it just helps a little bit to like find exactly what I'm looking for, because some of the big brushes look a little similar, but I want to keep, you know, I want to keep these nice nets on them so they keep their shape. So I'm like, oh, I'm looking for the number two, but these two look exactly the same, pretty much. Oh, this one is the number two. So that's my little system. And yeah, so this is the last brush set, and then I just have a couple more things to show you, and then the video is done. Last thing that I have to show you is the Katie Jane Hughes Laundrette towel right here. See how much more giant this is? Yeah. This is huge. And then this is their uh, Unicorn Brush Shampoo. This is a liquid version of it. It smells super good, like really sweet and candy-ish. Um, I got this as like a free gift with this amount of purchase thing. I actually haven't been able to find it for regular purchase on their website very often. So I don't know if it's like a thing that they just bring back every once in a while, like some of their limited edition brushes or not, but... This smells really good. It's really nice. It's got this pearlescent pinkness to it. And then this is the brush soap I'm currently using. As you can see, I've made a big dent in it. It's kind of sudsy because I literally just used it. And here's the mat. Okay. So that is the last of everything that I own from Spectrum Collections. Next video will be my drugstore eyeshadow palettes. So be ready for that. Thank you so much for watching. I hope that you guys have a wonderful rest of your day or your night or whatever time it is for you. Um, I'm so glad that you were here to watch me and uh, that you spent your time on this video. And I hope that you have a really, really wonderful rest of whatever time it is for you. Bye!